Alright, so hello. Today I'm just going to show you how to dump the materials for us. So here, this will be on my GitHub. Obviously, I won't include the EXE. You'll have to come in here and build it yourself. But everything else will be here, and there'll be a tutorial. So what you're gonna gonna what you're wanna what you're gonna wanna do is get cheat engine if you do have it here. So let's go in the cheat engine and just start up cheat engine. All right, now you have cheat engine open. You're going to want to start your own Rust server. Once you do this, you'll come. Once you, um, so you'll run your Rust server one time. Come into here. You should see your server name. Go in the CFG and server auto dot CFG. Open with Notepad. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you're gonna want to make sure you have these three on here. If you don't have these three, add them because this is what's gonna allow you to connect to the server without running EAC. So go ahead and add those. And once you add those, you're just gonna come here, uh, whatever your dot bath. Okay, so your server should be started now as a impulse. So your server should be started now. And what you're gonna do, go ahead and start up rustclient.exe. It doesn't matter if your account is game banned or not, it should still let you connect to this. Go to connect, and if you follow the same tutorial as me, you'll just put this into your console and it will start connecting you to your server. Once you're in the server, you're going to attach, well, yeah, you could do it before or after. I like to get into the server and then attach cheat engine. And like I said, since this is without EAC, it won't go ahead and kick you from the server for no Steam off or anything like that. You'll just be able to run it as long as the game owns the account. I mean, the account owns the game. Uh, I should probably go ahead too. So now we'll be able to no clip and fly and do all that fancy stuff. And the world should not be that big. Do not make a big world. What the fuck are you making a big world for? This server is just for you to dump materials. Also, what you might want to do is turn off terrain violation. Yeah, so you see that? Terrain. And go ahead and do terrain protection zero. It'll go ahead and turn the anti-hack off for that. Make sure to set yourself server because it is going to spawn you under the map if you follow the same tutorial that I did. So let's do, let's go back to connect and connect back to our server. Just make sure that anti-hack for terrain violation is off because I think it's an admin only thing or something. I'm not entirely sure. But that does happen. As you see, I got killed. My friend. No clip. Let's do that first. Now we can come up here. Now we want to go in a cheat engine. And we want to open Rust. Open. Okay. You're, wanna, you're gonna want to have a hex. And we want 8 bytes as the value type and you want to search for dead beef dead beef dead beef once again thanks to dark aether for the material scanner take help all right first scan you should get 5000 values or around that so click the first one come down here hold shift and then click press this red arrow right here it'll add all of them down here and then you're going to click on table up here uh show here 
All right, and then come back to the material dumper. And you should see dumper.lua. So you're gonna open with Notepad, or if you have Visual Studio Code, you'll wanna do that. Either or, it's up to you. So we'll copy this Lua script. Obviously, you change this to your directory where you, wherever your um, your .exe file for your material underscore scanner. Once again, credit the dark aether for that. So we'll exit that and come back here. If I can find wherever the fuck the window is. All right, there we go. Execute that. Okay, addresses have been saved in JSON format. Inside here, we should get this JSON.txt. And now, go in here, and you're going to, uh, I'll actually go ahead and show you guys uh, what you should build this as. You build this in debug, not release, and it should output inside of here, and then debug, and it should be in here. I'll go ahead and build it for those who aren't very knowledgeable those who are just uh, new to doing this whole thing. Okay, one succeeded. So out of there, material scanner, x64, debug, and then bring it out there, replace it. Okay, and then you just run this and you'll literally get a material underscore output and these are all the latest materials in the game. That's how you dump materials for Rust. Uh, there's a few cool ones. Uh, I will show a few cool ones on screen along along with their um, name in here. So you could go ahead and do some pretty cool external gems. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. All right. And here's all the chance materials I was telling you guys about. This is the first one.